I'm Sharon Swartz. We are on the Future Films boat in Cannes with the CEO of Future Films, Stephen Margolis. Thank you so much for hosting us. All right. My now, pleasure. I, um, I know that Future Films has been here for many years and, uh, and always on, or almost always on a boat. So um, what's it like for you this year with, um, with, with the crazy choppy weather and the, uh, you know, and, and, and getting well, here was quite hectic for a lot of people. Well, it's early days in the week, and you know everyone just really came into town yesterday, yeah. so we're just getting settled in. And I think it's going to be a week of um, opportunity. We've had a tough couple of years, and um, buyers and sellers have been struggling. But I think this year we'll see the the leveling off of the the bottom of the market, mm -hmm. and you will see a lot of upside and um, opportunity uh, for, for for us all. Now. Future Films is very much about film financing, but from what I understand, you have a couple of other projects that you're working on. Um, tell well, us about them. Well, I think Future Films was all about film financing, but what I've been looking to do over the last uh, three or four years is grow it into a more integrated business. So as well as uh, financing films, we're directly involved in producing. Recent productions have been Planet 51, which Sony released in the US, Cracks, mm -hmm. the film that we did with um, Scott Free, and a uh, more recent film, Malice in uh, Wonderland. And we have post-production and we have a fledgling distribution business. And I find the fledgling distribution business one of the more exciting parts of what we're doing right now. We've uh, launched this website called projector.tv, which essentially is for the UK and creating a, what I call a supermarket shelf, so that no film should be without a release in the UK. Producers and distributors can put their films on this website, and it's a video-on-demand service. Mm -hmm. And it's focused on the on the niches and an independent, yeah. an independent film. And you have some partners in in the project. No, we're um, it's all done by Future Films. But really, again, one of the exciting parts of it, uh, looking forward is that we've been accepted as the Edinburgh Film Festival's um, right. online partner. The concept came in a couple of different ways. So one time I saw some Eastern European builders walking down my street, and I wondered how did they get to see their latest movies? And um, what if I could get their movies on a revenue share basis, put on a website over here, and I would create a supply to meet a demand? Mm -hmm. And it's not just Eastern Europeans, it's the French, it's the German, it's the Spanish, and all those different niches which we're looking to aggregate and thereby create critical mass. But also, I released a film in the US not so long ago through Magnolia, which went as a video on demand for about three weeks before it went into the theatres. Right, and when it went into the theatres, it stopped the video on demand. So what you had was a sit 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 situation where you were making money out of the marketing of the film and um, getting the good sort of word of mouth for it. As I look to the future and think how films are going to be distributed, I think there is a, for films that are catering for what I would call the 30 year, people who are more than 30 years old, there is a problem. The, the theaters like to see, um, lots of action films, people buying lots of theatre tickets and maybe seeing films two or three times, which is not giving the space and the time for films that are appealing to the more mature audience to stay at the theatre and develop its own market. And from what I understand, you've already amassed quite a, a, a list of titles for Projector. We have um, a library of up to 5,000 titles right now. There's about 250 or 300 titles on the site, um, and they're being uploaded um, all the time. And the important thing is that as we get into the specific niche, we have what somebody is always looking for in that particular section. So if, you want, if you've right. got Spanish films, you've got to have some iconic Spanish films. And one of the USPs of the site is that there, is ten, there are 10 different search engines as to how to find a movie. Typically now, if you go into a DVD store, you either know what you're looking for or you've got to spend two hours searching through the titles. 
Right. Here, the site will be a bit like Amazon, where if you like this film, you would like this film. These are the same films by the same director, or so on and so right. forth. And so we're helping to understand what our consumer wants and trying to proactively provide to that consumer more films that he that he that he might he or she might like. Fantastic. Well, thank you for the interview. And it's a pleasure. Thank you for hosting us. Okay, it's a pleasure. <laughs> All right. We were on the Future Films boat with Future Films CEO Stephen Margolis. I'm Sharon Swart for Hub Culture.